escuche my name. Hello, how are you? I hope you're fine. I'm fine, but uh, can you wait for me? I, I need it's to fine. change the, take, take the, your the computer. Time. So, okay, no I'll problem. change the computer. Take your time, I'll David. Add, I'll add and, and you will call me uh, uh, again, but in the computer. Oh, you're gonna change computers. All right, no, no problem. Teacher. Hello, David. Did you change the device? Hello, teacher. Hello, hey. teacher. I am Alex. I'm listening to your voice double. Double? I'm okay. going it's kind of like your voice is being repeated. Like, hello. What? It's like, hello, teacher, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, teacher, teacher. Like, when you talk, uh, I can listen. I was listening to your voice double. And in, in your voice, too. Now it's okay. Now it's fine. I know. Oh, I think it may be the connectivity. David, I think the connectivity. Can you hear me well? So, I'm afraid you? that uh, it has to do with the connectivity. The Wi-Fi. Yeah. yeah. 
maybe the internet connection uh, is giving some issues, but I will highly suggest you, I will suggest you to get close to, to your internet router. So this way you can have a better internet signal. David, I think you're freezing. Can you hear me very well? David, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Okay, now it's better. We can start. Okay, David, let's get started with our let's get started with our class. Can you tell me what did we talk about before in our previous class? David? Can you tell me what did we talk about in our previous class? If I have books. I think it's the connectivity. Oh my God. The connectivity is not working well. Uh, let me see, David, do you think if you get close to the internet router, um, the connectivity may work better for you? Or are you on a desktop? Let me see, David, can you hear me well? Let me see, I'm gonna share my screen to you. Okay, you can share our screen with me. Okay, let me just go ahead to the class. Um, okay, David, let me ask you something. What would you like to be in the future? What occupation or what job, what kind of job would you like to have in the future? Would you like to be a doctor, a teacher, a musician? I want to be a scientist. Oh, you. What was that? Oh, you want to become a scientist, right? Yes. If you want to become, if you want to become, uh, to become a scientist today, we're going to be talking about jobs and occupations. All right. That'll be our topic. Our topic for today's class is going to be jobs and occupations. All right. And you may oh. be able, David, this morning, you may be able, all right. Uh, to I talk about your dream jobs, all right? And let me ask you something. In case, in case that you do not want to become a scientist, is there a, in case that, for example, you would like to have another profession? Uh, for example, you want to be a scientist, but maybe you want to be something else. I don't know. No, I only want to be a scientist. A hundred percent? You want to be, you, you want... <laughs> All right, you want to be 100% a scientist, right? Fantastic. If you want to become a scientist, all right, today we're going to be talking about jobs and occupations. And let's learn some jobs, all right? Okay. Okay. So now I am going to show you a high picture. All right, look at what I'm going to do. I am going to show you a hidden picture. All right, and then you will need to guess, all right, what you have 30 seconds. Listen to this, 30 seconds for you to guess what is there behind the picture. Do you understand? Okay, I understand. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. What is that? Let's see. Are you ready? What do you think is there? Are you ready? 
Yes, I am. What do you think is there behind the picture? It's only 30 seconds. Oh. I don't know. No idea? What do you think? Let me see. What is that? Any idea? <laughs> you can tell me all the professions you can imagine. Use your, use your brain, use your mind. What do you think it may be? is a farmer. Oh, you think it's a farmer? Let's see what is it. Okay. And in fact, it's a, <laughs> it's a chef, all right? Or a cook, all right? That is a chef. Look at here. Let me show you. This one is a chef. All right? Do you see? Yeah. Yeah. And then the chef, if in case that you don't know, the chef is the person, okay, in charge of cooking for everyone, all right, at the restaurant, the hotel. The yeah. chef is the person. In the the person. restaurant. Yeah, that's right. The person in charge of the food, the food preparation. Okay, let's continue. Let's see the next one. So let me give you some clues, all right? Okay, what do you think it is? Can you tell me this occupation? Dentist! <gasps> Let's see, would it be a dentist? <gasps> oh yes, it's a dentist, great job! <laughs> you did it well, it's a dentist. It's a dentist, great job. Absolutely, you see? Well done. Great job, David. So now we have another one. Let's see here. What do you think it may be? Any idea? Okay, David. I think that's it. Uh... Okay. I think that is a any 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 idea? I'm giving you more clues. What do you think it is? Joe Biden? <laughs> no, no, well, actually not really. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, that's not uh, Mr. Biden. Doctor. What do you think it is? This is doctor. Doctor, doctor. That's right. Fantastic. Uh, let's continue. Let's see here. And <laughs> hey, what about this one? What do you think it is? Um. What is that? Any idea? I think he's a scientist. Okay, let's see. In fact, he is an engineer. All right. Engineer. Engineer. Can you say it? Engineer. Engineer. All right, David, I think I'm not able to see your face. I can see only half of your face, only your eyes. If you are in a laptop or in a computer, you can be like that. You can move ahead the screen of your device so I can better see your face. I can feel, I feel myself that I'm really having a nice class. Okay, let's continue. Then you say this one is an engineer. Let's continue. Okay. Let's continue. What do you think it may be? Easy. I know it's easy. Firefighter. <laughs> That's right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. All right. That is correct. It's a firefighter. You did, you did it very well. Okay. So give me five. Give me five. You did it very well. High five. <laughs> okay. 
Let's see here, all right? Ah, uh, I know this one. Okay. okay what, so is, what is that? Florist. Florist. Florist? Florist. Let me see. All right. And the answer is Floris. Well done. Fantastic. You did it very well. Let's continue. Okay, let's continue. And what about this one, David? What do you think in this one, maybe? So are you familiar with this? Work. Yeah, it's working, but he is working, but behind his work, all right, there is a profession, there is an occupation. And what that is? Photocopy. <laughs> Photocopy? Mm. Look at him. He's having something. Look at the, the person, all right? It, it tends to be a gentleman. Mm. <laughs> and he's dressing casual. What do you think it may be, David? Any idea comes to your mind? No. Okay. If you, don't, if you don't guess what that is, let me show you. Any idea? Not yet? You give up? Oh, wait a minute. Remember this. This Go one is Courthouse. a lawyer. What is that? Lawyer. lawyer. Yeah, do you know lawyer, what is Lawyer, I don't know All what right. that, that means. Oh, is that me... John Biden? <laughs> well, actually, I imagine as a profession, in his profession, Joe Biden should have been a lawyer to become a president. That's the most obvious, the most obvious thing. I'm not sure that Joe Biden is a lawyer, um, but that's easy. Let me just get this information real quick and real time. Because I don't really know the profile of Mr. Biden, but I imagine yes, because the majority of presidents, they are lawyers by professions. Let me see. I'm going to get the information for you in real time. This is a very good question. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's right. First profession, well, actually, first profession, politician. Second profession, he has three pro occupations. Joe Biden, three occupations. He's a politician, number one. Number two, he's a writer. He's a writer. And he's also an attorney, which is a lawyer that defines people. But actually, um, a lawyer is the person who defends somebody at the court of or courthouse, somebody that is in charge of defending somebody else. For example, if, uh, if somebody does something wrong and maybe he needs, or if somebody did not do something and it's being accused, they are accusing this person. Maybe the person is, is innocent, all right? So they get a lawyer. And the lawyer is going to be like, they, they're going to be like, David, were you the one who did so? And the lawyer is going to be, no, 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 no. David is not like that. David is a good person. And they, the lawyer is going to defend that person. Do you understand, David? Okay. It's going to define, all right? It's going to be there to define and write the others. Okay, Let's continue. Let's continue. What do you think it may be? Fix the car. <laughs> what, what? Okay, fix the car. And who is the person in charge of fixing cars?
With the I'm sorry? Is the fish. The person in charge of fixing a car <laughs> is going to be tan 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 mechanic. Mechanic. Yeah, that's right, mechanic. The person <laughs> that fixes cars, all right, all technical origins is going to be a mechanic. Mechanic is the person you can sit down below the car, fixing the car, maybe with a screw. Uh, monkey ranges and all these things. Okay. And then this one is? Mechanic. A me mechanic, all right? It's a mechanic. Mechanic. Well, let's see the next one. Okay. Um, and I need a nurse. This one is? Nurse. Nurse. Fantastic. That's right. This one is a nurse. Well done. Good job. So let's continue with the rest of vocabulary. And I, why I really want you to tell me. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know the astronaut. Okay. This one is. Astronaut. Astronaut, that's right. This one is an astronaut. That's that is correct. Okay, let's continue. What about this one? Mm -hmm. Any idea? Let me give you one more clue. So there you may have the answer. Any idea? No. I'm gonna make it easier for you. One more. I'm gonna allow you to see one more in order that you, you may be able to see the uh, big part of the picture, right? What do you think it may be? Any idea? Not yet, David? I think I don't know this one. No. Okay, let me show you. Okay, this one, okay, is a zookeeper. Do you know this prof this profession? Zookeeper. Uh, zookeeper. What do okay, what do zookeepers do? For the food. Okay, they take care of animals at the zoo. Once again, zookeeper. They take care of animals in the zoo. Yeah, that's right. They take care of, uh, of animals at the zoo. Let me show you here another one. There is another profession. Okay, there is um, another profession, an occupation right here, right behind this. Oh, well, you already said that. Let me just continue. Is this a zookeeper? Okay. So now let's talk about structures. All right. So let me ask you something. I'm going to ask you a few quick questions. All right. So the first thing. Right now, David, let me ask you something. What is your job? Right now, I have a question for you. Okay. Let me see how you answer this question. I know it's going to be like tricky. You may say, teacher, my job. Let me ask you something. What is your job now? What is your occupation? Occupation, what is my job? Occupation means what, you, what, what is that you do? What, what, what do you do? Are you an engineer? Are you a doctor? Or are you a student? I'm a student. Oh, very well. You are a student. And let me ask you something. Let me see if you understand this about job and occupation. And what is my job? What is my occupation? Uh, yeah, this is teacher. Teacher. That, that's right. All right. 
So look at there. Now let me show you this grammar uh, so that you can learn it very well. If, if you are going to ask questions, all right, using do or does and having this, this first question where's what, you will need to add it this way. What do for the first person, for example, if you're gonna talk about yourself, what do I do, all right? Or it's gonna be, if you're gonna be talking about he, she, or it, it's gonna be what does. For the rest of the, of the pronouns, all right? For the rest of the pronouns, you're going to use either you, what do you, what do they, what do we, the plural except for the singulars, like he, she, and it. So you can say does, does. For the rest, you can use do to ask her questions if you want to ask questions, all right? You can say, what do you do? Or what does she do? What do you do, all right? Okay. I do my homework. What does she do? She's talking, okay? She's talking to teach you Alexis, all right? Do you understand that? I understand that. Fantastic. Let's see some example. First question, all right? What does your father do? What does your father do? Another question is, David. Um, this is another example. Know. What is or that means if you say what does your what does your father's your father do? So you are saying what is your father's job? Understand uh, that? What I'm is funny. what is your father's yeah, job? Yeah. Is your father a, a, a baker? A teacher, a doctor, a politician, a right, a police officer, um, an engineer, an astronomist, a right, a bet, bet. <laughs> whatever it is, then you can use this question to ask for it. Okay. So remember this structure is gonna be what, do or does, which is an auxiliary word, the subject and the the auxiliary word do. Here we have this example, right? Which is a part. This is something shorter. What, what is, in this case, the subject, what is your job? Okay. Okay. What is your job? Let's continue. Look at this sentence right here. Can you read it? My father. My father is a doctor. In he the Bay that, Hospital, my father worked as, as my father works as a doctor of a Bay Hospital. My father is a doctor in a big hospital. So, what is the next example we are having here, David? It's my father. My father is a doctor in the Bay Hospital. My father and, works. And my father works. Uh, us, us, a doctor, a big hospital. It may be my father works as a doctor for a big hospital. It may be this way. All right. So let me just show you something. Here I have this question for you, and we are going to identify their jobs. Okay. Let me ask you something. First question. What do you want to be when you grow up? So then they say, I want to be a doctor. So we are going to listen and repeat. Look at this, David. Listen carefully. The information that are going to be given. Page 65. Okay. C. Listen, ask, and answer. Then practice. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an actor. You listen. One. What do you want to be when you grow up? Okay. I want to be an actor. 
Okay, number Two. one. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an artist. Okay, that's number two. Three. What do you want to be when you grow up? Number three. I want to be a musician. Four. Number four. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a game designer. Okay, you, you listen. Five. Game designer. What do you want to be when you grow up? Number five. I want to be a journalist. Okay. Six. Number six. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a scientist. Okay, so now let's see. I'm gonna ask you based on the, the characters you can see in the picture. Let's see right here. Number one, what does she want to be? She want to be um okay. Um, Do you I remember the profession? Me. She wants to be a pre uh, an actress, all right. She wants to be an actress. Number two, what does he wants to be? He wants to be a um, art artist. All right. Uh, Number artist. two, he wants to be an art. You can either say mm -hmm. artist or artist. All right. In America, we okay. use more artist. Or you can say standard, or, you know, the standard form, artist. Let's see, next one. Okay. Number four, what does he want to be? What does he want to be? Three, number three. Number number four, what do you think? No, it's number three. Number three, you're not the right. Okay, he seems to be, a right, a computer game designer. Okay, he's thinking about yes. all right becoming a computer games designer. Number five, what does she wants to be? Do you remember? Oh, no, I don't remember. Okay, let me play it for you so you can listen well to this. Page 65. Listen carefully. See. Listen, ask, and answer. Then okay. practice. What do you want to be when you grow up? Let's see here. I want to be an actor. One. Okay. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an actor. Okay, let's continue. Two. What do you want to be when you grow up? Okay. I want to be an artist. Three. Okay. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a musician. Four. Number four, listen what here. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a game designer. Okay, let me stop it right here. Five. What? Okay, what does, what does he want to be? What does he want to be? What, number four, what does he want to be? He wants okay. to be a game designer. Okay, that is correct. He wants to become a game designer. That is correct. That's right. I don't know what game designer means. Do you you don't know what is a game designer? Yes. Actually, this is a person that designs video games. I I don't understand. Do you know what is a video game? I know video game. Yeah, the person who makes video games this one is a game designer understand that make a game yeah like video games all right they are well known as video games designer do you understand that I understand now you got it you got it give me a second <laughs> One second. Okay, David, are you there? Okay. I'm there. So you told me that the one, what is the one you do not understand, David? 
Um, I don't understand. Ah, uh, you say game designer. game designer. Okay, let me show you something. Do you know? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Do you know? Let me see. Um, Call of Duty. What? Do you know Call of Duty? Do you know uh, no. Super Mario Sunshine? I know. All right. Do you know Super Mario Sunshine? I know. Okay, that's a video game. All right, that is a video game. The persons who makes, who design video games, video game makers, all right, the persons that who creates, the, the creators, all right, of the video games that you play, all right, those are game designers. Do you understand? I understand. Clear with this? Somebody who creates games, this is a game designer. Okay, meaning somebody who makes, who makes a video game. Can you tell me the name of one of the video games that you have or that you play at home? Do you play video games? No. Oh, the last, the last time I played is uh, now when I eight years old. Okay, and can you tell me the name of that video game? It is Super Mario. Oh, oh how many games? Have okay. um, throw the ball, throw the balls to the face. Okay, and, uh, it was, you told me Mario. The, have Mario. Mario too, but I say Mario already, and uh, and have um have um superhero and um have you mean um, Superman? Have a um, maze. Okay. Maze. Let me show you something. So then you already know what is a video game. Video game designer, somebody who designs, somebody who makes video games or computer video games. Number five, what is number five? Listen to this. Listen carefully. Five. What do you want to be when you grow up? Okay. I want to be a journalist. Six. What do you want to be when you grow up? Okay. I want to be a scientist. Okay. What does she want to be when she grow up? When she grows up? When she grows up, she wanna be. When uh, she grows grows up. When she grows up, she wanna be um. Uh, I don't know. She wanna be. She wants to be a journalist. Um, a journalist, that's right. The person who interview and gets information for our news, all right, for or magazines. And number six, what does he wants to be? He wants to be a scientist. He wants to be a scientist. That is correct. Let's go on. Okay, look at this. When you're going to refer to the indefinite article, so you always need to remember this. Uh, there we have different kind of articles such as A, N, and D. So A, we can use it uh, with a singular noun beginning with consonant. For example, a doctor, a teacher, a firefighter, etc. So another thing is, okay. yeah, David, were you going to say something? Uh, no. Okay. So another thing is that we use and, right, plus the singular noun beginning with a vowel. So look at there. Let me show you. When we are going to use a vowel, not a consonant, it's going to be like that, an astronaut. When you pronounce it, it's going to be like an astronaut, an architect, an office worker. Okay, do you understand? I understand. It's kind of like you joined, all right? The first letter of the sentence plus the consonant 
end, only in the pronunciation, all right? Then you say an astronaut, an architect, an office worker. Clear with this part? Understand now. Fantastic, let's continue. Don't forget to put A or N before the noun, before noun jobs. Yeah. Never forget this so that uh, you can do it very well. So look at the first example. What is the first example? Example, I want to be a teacher when I grow up. Okay, I want to be a teacher when I grow up. That's very good. Okay, next one. What do you want to be when you grow up? Okay. I want well, to be, I want to, yeah, I ahead. want to be a scientist. scientist. As, yeah, as you told me, a scientist. So look at there, look at this. I want you to help me reading this. I want to see your reading. Okay, this is what you have to do, okay, to do, to do, okay, to get your dream, dream job. Let's see here. Can you read this for me? Okay. Study hard and then do volunteer. So let's see. Study hard. <laughs> Example. Study hard is... To get my dream job, I have to study hard, such as read many books, do homework. Okay, let me see. Can you repeat it again? Study hard. Example, to get my dream job, I have to study hard, such as read many books, do homework. Do, do homework. Do homework. Okay. So next one. Um, do volunteer. I think it was breaking up the first one, the first time. The second was okay. I don't know. Okay. Uh, the next one. What is the next job? To get my dream, you have to volunteer to get experts. I don't know. Experience. To get my dream job, you have to do volunteer to get experience. Volunteer is in hand? <laughs> no, in fact, volunteer, being a volunteer is to help people. For example, let me tell you something. I am a teacher. I am an English teacher. But at certain point of my life, I have to volunteer to gain some experience. Maybe when I was younger, when I was a new teacher, I'm talking about 12 years ago. 12 years ago, when I was a new teacher, I wanted to get some experience. And then I went to a school and I had to volunteer by that time, which means working is working for is to help working for free. You do not get salary. You help, but you don't get salary. You help people because you want. It's, it's something about being humanitarian. And then afterwards, you're going to get some experience. Do you understand okay. this, David? Okay. What is a volunteer? It's some, somebody who helps. And sometimes, sometimes, not always, with the intention to gain some practical experience. Yeah. to get work experience. Clear with this? I understand. Let me ask you something. I have a, a, a final question. What do you have to do to get your dream job? I need to do many stuff. Let me go back. Number one. This on my is you, I want to you, do a scientist, but I at, need to uh, to be a scientist, which is your dream job. Need to uh, make robots. 
<laughs> yeah, but there is something that you need to do first. And this is? The, there is the, here is the answer. Study hard. A study hard. And obviously, the study hard, and you will need to first, to get some experience, you will need to? Read a book, do homework, all like that to do volunteer to get experience all right you have to be you have to do volunteer work okay so david let me ask you something what did we learn today in this class today we learned about jobs can you tell me some of the jobs we learned today some of these amazing occupations today we learned study art Okay. volunteer. All right. Yeah, no, we need to, okay. Um, Study hard and do volunteer work. This is what we need to do. And and jobs and and a and and d. Okay. Um, Can you tell me the names of those jobs that we learned today? Do you remember? It's firefighter, doctor, lawyer. Okay. Doctor, lawyer, dentist. And, okay. Uh, Mechanic. Mechanic, that's right. Okay. Fantastic. Well, David, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for being so active in, in, in our class. I wish you a fantastic rest of the day and see you next class. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. See you.